Hello and welcome. This video provides an overview of FluentD, the open source logging collection software. In this video, we will be looking at FluentD's features and benefits along with the life cycle of a FluentD event. In addition, a lightweight software version called FluentBit is also covered later at the end of this video. This video offers a high level perspective of FluentD while excluding architecture and installation information. For the objectives of this video, we will learn the following about FluentD. How to describe FluentD for better understanding what FluentD is. You learn the different features of FluentD. Next, you will also learn the many benefits of FluentD. The majority of the video covers the life cycle of a FluentD event, which you will learn to understand and list. One of the major strengths of FluentD is the number of plugins available. You also learn the different types of plugins available for FluentD. And then lastly, FluentBit is also covered at the end of the video for learning about a lightweight alternative to FluentD. FluentD is open source software and is typically implemented for collecting, aggregating, processing, analyzing, and routing log files for later archiving. The source code is available on GitHub at github.com fluent. With FluentD, you are able to better analyze your logging information because of its unified logging for multiple systems. FluentD was developed by Sadayuki Furuhashi, and his company is called Treasure Data, which continues to develop the software. Similar to Kubernetes, Prometheus, and other open source software projects, FluentD is a part of the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. There are many benefits for implementing FluentD within an enterprise system. First, you have the ability to collect all types of logging information from multiple sources, such as databases, applications, and network servers. One of its primary features is the unifying of the logging data once collected from other input sources. After collected and processed, data information can then be routed to multiple sources such as a cloud service, a database, or other archival system. FluentD comes fully compatible with Kubernetes and Docker for deploying and managing logging events within a cloud platform solution. Another feature of FluentD is that there are over 500 plugins available for FluentD to connect to all types of various software within an enterprise environment. There are many reasons why to use FluentD for your logging aggregator, analyzer, and archival system. To date, FluentD integrates logging with hundreds of systems because of the number of plugins available. For unifying logging data information, FluentD implements JSON, which is a popular machine file format and is widely used. Whether collecting or redirecting, FluentD is able to scale literally thousands of servers. FluentD is able to handle and manage various log file types from web servers to databases to applications. According to the FluentD's website, FluentD is able to aggregate log files from over 50,000 servers, which is an example for using FluentD as an enterprise logging solution. FluentD has a life cycle for each logging event. This life cycle is comprised of five different components, which are setup, inputs, filters, matches, and labels. Each of these five types of components will now be discussed. When setting up FluentD, a main configuration file is used to connect its components. Within the main configuration file, inputs are defined, which area also called listeners. These listeners are able to match specific input data as data is collected from input devices. For example, the first step is to create a match is to define a data source for data as shown on the slide. The source is a web server and the listener is listening on port 8888. The second step is the use of a match element that matches any input with test.example. If a match occurs, then the input data is outputted to a standard output. Three components are involved with each FluentD event. They are tags, time, and record. A tag represents the origin of the event, the time represents the actual time or occurrence of the event, and the record represents the content of the event log. FluentD offers hundreds of plugins which collect tags, times, and records of input data. On this slide, an example of the three components are shown. As you can see in the examples above, the tag is referencing access to Apache web server. And the time represents the actual time while the, the record displays the data content of the event. FluentD filters are simply rules that when applied aggregate input data from input sources. The filter element creates a rule 
to allow or disallow an event. Filters provide access to other processing procedures within a configuration file. More complex rules can be created with filters as needed. This example above shows an embedded exclusion element for excluding whenever a user logs out of a system. The match element is key for matching specific data from data input within FluentD. The match element provides a method for sending output to other systems when input data matches. For providing direction of input data, file and format output plugins are used for redirection of input data. The match element must include a match pattern and an at type parameter. In order to match the input data, the match pattern for the output to continue to be processed, redirected, etc. The example on the slide shows a matching for test.example and then outputting to standard out with the at type parameter. The sixth component within the FluentD lifecycle of an event is the use of labels. Labels allow for grouping filters and outputs so that tag handling is simplified. One example of a label is error handling. If an error occurs, the at error label will trigger an error record to be viewed and analyzed later. The example above shows a label element with a filter element and match element nested within a label. The filter element is a rule designed for input from an application's logging input. The match element is matching any occurrence of user.access and then some type of procedure if a match occurs. FluentD provides an extensive list of plugins to be used and managed within an enterprise setup. Of these plugins, there are seven different types of plugins, which are first the input plugin, which aggregates logging from external sources. The parser plugin is a built-in plugin, or a custom parser can be developed for parsing logging events. The filter plugin, which is different from the filter element, is a plugin that changes event streams by removing, adding, or updating events. The output plugin creates buffers and sends out data in three different modes, non-buffered, synchronous, and asynchronous buffered. The formatter plugin recycles and changes event data to output formats that may be customized by the user. The storage plugin stores data as formatted key value pairs in a key value store. Finally, the buffer plugin chunks data before sending to the next output destination. Due to the processing load created by FluentD, a lightweight version of FluentD was developed by Treasure Data. FluentBit is a fast, lightweight logging aggregator for quickly processing and forwarding events to external systems. The purpose for implementing FluentBit is for improving event logging performance within an enterprise system. Similar to FluentD, FluentBit is open source software and available on GitHub at github.com slash fluent slash fluent dash bit. FluentBit uses less memory during operation, which increases overall performance. With FluentBit, three problem areas are also addressed similar to FluentD, which are First, it handles various data sources. Second, FluentBit handles various formatted data. And then thirdly, FluentBit handles various destinations for sending out outputs. In this video, you learned about FluentD and FluentBit. You gained a basic understanding of what FluentD and FluentBit are, their benefits and features. You should now be able to describe what FluentD is, state some of the features of FluentD, Next, identify the many benefits of FluentD. You should now be able to list the complete lifecycle of a FluentD event. Also, recall the seven different types of FluentD plugins. And then finally, describe FluentBit and its primary advantage when compared to FluentD. Oracle provides an extensive number of resources which you can find out more about this subject than others. You can visit the Oracle Container Registry at the link shown here. And for more information about Oracle Linux Cloud Native Environment Solution, you can read all about it in the announcement. Extensive training videos, content solutions covering cloud-related topics like FluentD and FluentBit, as well as administrative and advanced subjects for Oracle Linux, can be found in the Linux Learning Subscription and Oracle Linux Curriculum Pass at Oracle University. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.